Overworld in Flames, An Unofficial Minecrafter's Adventure by Mark Sheverton is a book from the Game Night 999 series, which follows the virtual adventures of a user named Game Night 999, a former griefer turned hero who has become the legendary protector of the Minecraft world. The story explores themes of bravery, responsibility, and the blurred lines between reality and gaming. In this adventure, Game Night 999, also known as the user that is not a user, finds himself facing an escalated threat in the form of the mysterious and deadly virus Herobrine, who has developed a plan to transform the Minecraft world into an environment of pure chaos. The overworld is intended to be consumed by flames. Herobrine, a non-player character who has become sentient, has the ability to bring game monsters to life and control them, and his plan involves unleashing these monsters to destroy the beautiful Minecraft landscapes and terrorize its inhabitants. Game Night 999 is not alone in his quest to stop Herobrine. He is accompanied by his friends and fellow warriors from previous battles, Crafter, Hunter, and Stitcher, among others. They each have their unique expertise and abilities, which, when combined with Game Night 999's leadership and determination, form a formidable force against the dangers they face. The book opens with the discovery that entire regions of the world are on fire, the forests of Minecraft burning and its NPCs, non-player characters, in grave danger. The group quickly realizes that this is the work of Herobrine, who has corrupted wolves into fire-bearing creatures that spread the inferno across the land. As they witness the devastation, Game Knight and his team decide to venture into the heart of the disaster in a daring attempt to find a way to thwart Herobrine's apocalyptic agenda. Throughout the novel, Game Knight 999 and his friends traverse various biomes and confront challenges that test their skills and resolve. They face hordes of hostile mobs, navigate treacherous landscapes, and most importantly, work to protect the innocent NPCs and their homes from being consumed by the fires. As they close in on Herobrine's fortress, the group encounters new allies, including a team of crafters known for their ingenuity and a company of NPC soldiers. Together, they devise a plan to confront Herobrine in his own lair and end his reign of terror. The climactic battle unfolds in a fortress fraught with danger, where Game Knight 999 and his companions are pushed to their limits. They battle against waves of monsters and traps set by the cunning Herobrine. Game Knight 999, using his deep understanding of Minecraft's mechanics, manages to exploit weaknesses in Herobrine's defenses, allowing them to press forward. In the gripping final confrontation, Game Night 999 faces Herobrine in a direct duel. Throughout this encounter, themes of sacrifice, the power of friendship, and the importance of standing up to evil, even at great personal risk, are woven through their battle. As the battle rages, Game Night 999's sister, Monet 113, who has recently joined the Minecraft game, uses her own understanding of the game to uncover Herobrine's true weakness. She relays this crucial information to Game Knight, who harnesses this knowledge to devise a strategy that could end the chaos once and for all. The heroes expose Herobrine to an element that essentially acts as an antivirus, purging the toxic influence of Herobrine from the game. This element might be an unexpected display of compassion, the power of creation over destruction, or a cunning use of game logic that Herobrine could not predict. With Herobrine defeated and his plan foiled, the fires that consume the overworld are extinguished. Minecraft is saved once again by Game Night 999 and his band of NPCs and fellow players. The NPCs of Minecraft are no longer under threat and peace is restored to the biomes of the world. The monster armies disband and return to their normal behaviors, no longer under the malevolent influence of Herobrine. However, despite the victory, Game Night 999 and his friends understand that the threat of Herobrine may never be completely gone. As long as there is a digital existence of Minecraft, there will always be the potential for chaos to arise again. Game Night 999 vows to remain vigilant and to continue protecting the virtual world and its inhabitants. The novel concludes with Game Night 999 acknowledging that his journey is far from over. While he has saved the overworld this time, he knows that there will be other challenges to face and other adventures to embark upon. He, along with his friends, has grown through the trials they've faced. 
They've demonstrated that even in a world made of blocks and characterized by pixels, the values of courage, friendship, and determination remain as solid and real as the world outside the game. Overworld in Flames offers a message of hope and empowerment. As Game Knight 999 and his comrades illustrate that even the most overwhelming odds can be overcome through teamwork and perseverance. Their adventures reinforce the idea that the line between right and wrong is clear, even in the digital world, and that standing up against evil is always worth the struggle. By fleshing out the world of Minecraft with the intricacies of human emotion and moral dilemmas, Mark Sheverton breathes new life into the popular sandbox game. Readers are left contemplating the impact of their actions, both in-game and in real life, and perhaps questioning what it truly means to be a hero. Game Night 999's story is not just a testament to his courage, but an invitation to all gamers to rise above pettiness and become protectors of what is good and just in every world they inhabit. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.